Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about a module that enables you to clean up your notification panel. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is download and install the actual module from the Expose installer. Go into the Expose installer, look for Notify Clean and current version. Actually, let's go back here. We'll go into download and I'll get you exactly the version of it. Here it is. Version is 2.1.2 .2, and it's by Defim. You can go ahead and download and install the latest version. Once you have that installed, go into your modules. Make sure you go under here and check the box and restart the device. Once you have that done, everything is set and pretty much done taking care of for you. The main thing you want to make sure here essentially is that the benefit of this module is to clean this area of the notification panel. Now, most of us have a lot of notifications or consistent or running services. And in my situation, I'm no different. I have the Tasker app running in the background. It has a specific profile that I need it to run always for maps for GPS. And I also have Switcher. It's a different application. You guys should check it out. I reviewed it here on XTA not that long ago, actually. And I also have another application which is called Task Gear, but I, I have a module specifically for that to remove the entire notification, but it still runs in the background. Anyways, go back into the actual module itself. We'll go to Go Notify Clean. Once you load it, it loads generally, it starts tracking your notifications once you install the app. So the reason why you see a lot of things for me here is because I've had a lot of different notifications posted to my notification book. One of the main things obviously is Gmail, Dropbox, Cloud Magic, all the different services that you have. But I do have two that are persistent notification. And I say that because these are the ones that stay in your notification panel but also stay in the top part of your screen blocking it up. So when you get a couple of text messages, maybe uh, and a hangout message, it starts truncating on the left side of the screen right here. So the beauty of it is what you could do is you can go into the task of actual notification and you can just say all notifications and even unknown ones. Just go ahead and turn them off. Don't put them in my notification. In the free version, that's basically the main benefit that you're able to do. It's ad supported for the free version of this application, but the donate version goes a step further there. Now, here it tells you what the notifications are. You can actually selectively say which notification you want to turn off. An example of the developer gives us at least is if you're, you know, with Wi-Fi, sometimes you have the area where you get a notification saying connecting to Wi-Fi and then it says connect and then Wi-Fi connected. You can disable one of those two and this is where it is. Tasker no active profiles and then Tasker no maps. So I can just disable the no profiles and leave this on and then it'll still notify me. The next step when you donate and you go to the pro version, you have the ability to customize additional features here. You can go from rearranging uh, where the notification is coming up, allowing it uh, the ability to vibrate or non-vibrate if you have a general rule where everything you know vibrates on your on your device. Um, you know, uh, putting it in the order, do not permit full screen notification, uh, expanding it by default, disabling it obviously by, uh, is a simple thing, but it also gives it to you in the same interface itself very powerful way to clean your notification and it gives you control of anything that posts to your notification so the main thing you have to do you remember is if it hasn't posted to your notification bar you won't be able to customize it once it does you'll be able to see it in the list and then you'll be able to go back and then again everything goes in there once you check the box and actually turn on or disable a notification restart your device and the effect will take in there for you Sometimes if you don't restart, you can leave it in for a while and then it'll take an effect afterwards anyway. So if you guys remember not that long ago, we did an expose module that enabled you to pin notification to your notification panel. This works obviously in a different way as you guys saw with the hands-on. It enables you to hide notifications in the notification panel so that it makes it clean and any other notifications that you allow to go through will only propagate to the top left part of your screen. But the beauty of it is there's two versions of this obviously. There's the free version which enables you to just turn on and off or turn off parts of the notification. Meaning if it's you know looking for Wi-Fi and connecting to Wi-Fi, it's one of those different things. You can just block one of them. But in the donate version, you get to go even deeper into the ability of customizing. You can customize it from obviously hiding it, hiding the different parts of it, moving it to the bottom of the list, moving it to the top of the list, open it up, making sure that when it does show up, it shows up expanded. Uh, you can just customize really a lot of things into the notification panel with this module and it's pretty simple. It, the interface is really the, very intuitive as far as what you can and what you can do. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I like this notification and it's actually or this notification cleanup uh, module and it works pretty well. I know, checked that out on my Note 3 and on the Z2 and it works pretty well as far as the interface and what it does as far as the notification panel. Let me know in the comments below of any other modules that you guys like to see and of course comment and like this video if you liked it. Uh, as usual, like and subscribe to my channel, like and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys Thursday.